A team from a local Ohio university is being chosen from 100 other teams in the nation to compete in ESPN's Collegiate Esports Championship. 13 News reporter Tiffany Lopez introduces us to a team hoping to level up their way to the top. The best time is when uh, I'm actually playing against somebody. Yeah, when Kendall Taylor is a freshman at Shawnee State University, and he's been developing a certain skill set over the years. So I'm four years old. I remember playing like uh, my father's like Super Nintendo, playing Street Fighter 2, and being able to do like the different fireballs, the different commands, like with the different characters. So as far as back as I can remember, and I'm glad that I'm still sticking with it now. Kendall's a champion gamer, and he's one of 60 student athletes qualifying to compete in the upcoming ESPN Collegiate Esports Championship. An esports team is um, just competitive video games from the ground up. Head coach Kyle Trapp says his athletes are no different than any other sport. They are athletes because they come to practice every day, they have workout requirements, they have to study, you know, um, you have to balance all of that at one time. From Pac-Man to Mario Brothers to Rocket League to Overwatch, seven generations of technology have brought gaming to a whole new level. Hey, we got it. <laughs> By um, building rapport with other people across the nation, across the Midwest, uh, you can see that it's actually working towards something. It's not just it's not just a hobby. Some people might say this is not a sport. Yes, I get that all the time, that this, this is not a sport. Um, but I assure you the, the athletes are very, very focused on everything. And we do have one of the highest GPA requirements on campus. One of this area's only eSports team on a quest to be the best in the nation. Making sure that I'm ready for the next person that I have to face. Um, at the next uh, competition, because there's always going to be someone that is better than you. In Portsmouth, Tiffany Lopez, 13 News, working for you. And they will be in a bracketed tournament being held in Houston, Texas in May. By the way, this is the first time that ESPN has actually held a game and championship like this. And good luck to them. Exactly.